Rifle Drive Radio fans, Richard Rush here today with Walt McLean behind the camera. And today we're going to take a look at the all new redesigned 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. Again, all new for 2018. In terms of, they've really changed the styling of this. They've made it a little bit, actually not a little bit, a lot more attractive to us U.S. consumers just in terms of the size of the vehicle and some of the features and creature comforts of it. So with that being said, Walt, let's give everyone a quick walk around and we'll go from there. I don't have the Monroney on this vehicle on me. I apologize. I usually like to give you the wheel size, that sort of thing. But again, as you can see the front, really a nice looking vehicle. This is now built off of a similar platform to the new Volkswagen Atlas, which is their new seven passenger vehicle. It's got, it takes a little bit more of its boxy frame from that vehicle. This is the Habanero Orange. It's got the two liter turbocharged engine in it, the four cylinder, of course, uh, eight speed automatic transmission. The interior color is called the Titan Black, which you'll see in just a second. It's got a driver assistance, and this vehicle as it sits is $27,495. Walt, I'm gonna open this up for you so you can show everyone the interior. A few features, or just a few notes as far as what's new for 2018. They've added more cargo space by making the vehicle about 10 inches longer. More legroom, obviously, as a result of that. And the third row is standard on the two-wheel drive vehicles and optional on the four-wheel drive vehicles, which is what this vehicle is right here. Um, again, more you get more legroom. I really like Volkswagen's infotainment system and front cockpit cabins. Very easy to use, very simple. Walt, I would like to, sh to show people, I apologize, uh, the mode selector down below by the, the gear selector. That is one thing that's really nice on this vehicle. I think it's got snow, it's got track mode, it's got a whole lot of other different th features, especially for the off-road capabilities of this vehicle. I really also like the tread pattern on the seats that Walt showed you uh, beforehand. So some really nice uh, features overall on this vehicle. As we open the back seat here, Walt, I will let you show everyone kind of what that looks like. Not a whole lot of fanciness. I think you've got some vents back there, and that's about it. So there's not a whole lot of fancy features. No heated seats or anything like that. You don't even have automatic lights as far as this vehicle goes, which, again, for a five-seater or five-passenger, I'm going to call it a SUV crossover, uh, I'm not sure you would necessarily expect to get that out of this car, but just something to note. As we come to the back here, and again, I know the lighting's poor, so I'm just going to open this up and show this. Um, again, optional third rows um, as you're able to, d d depending on your configuration. Uh, 40, 20, 40 folding seat. You've got storage on both sides, and underneath here is a spare tire, but there is enough room for a snow brush, as you can see there. We like to kind of keep that out of the way. Uh, it's got a quiet, comfortable ride. Uh, you can get some nice upscale premium features if you like, but or you can get it pretty trimmed down, as is this vehicle um, right here. And really, again, Volkswagen has done a great job, no automatic trunk or anything like that, of really pricing this vehicle competitively now in terms of where it sits in the market before it was Honestly, it was probably a little bit overpriced for what you got, and I think Volkswagen has done a tremendous job at paring it down to what it is currently. Fuel economy, I actually don't have the ratings for it, I apologize. Um, and as far as what we've been able to get, Walt, you know what, let me open that up here really quick. Oh, one thing to note, Walt, as we are doing this, and I forgot to mention it to people, is this does not, ha this. there is an optional uh, feature on this vehicle as far as getting the, the keyless entry, keyless start, that sort of thing. So really quick here, sorry, got to roll down the window. I want to see what this is in terms of fuel economy. About 30 miles per gallon. So we'll leave it at that. That So 30 miles per gallon, which is really good for a vehicle of this size. That's something else that Volkswagen did as well as they added uh, I think they just kind of retune the engine, that sort of thing, to really maximize the fuel economy. I love the turbocharged engine at our altitude and really am a fan of this vehicle. I think it works fantastic. It rides great. One thing we're not a huge fan of, when you unlock, and this is just a personal preference, when you unlock this vehicle in Volkswagen, maybe we're doing something wrong, so educate us. You have to like hit the key fob, it seems like, 20 times in order to unlock the passenger seat. But you may or may not have to do that. So if you want to learn more about this vehicle, head to your local Volkswagen dealer, test drive it, get your family in it. And when you do that, let them know that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.